Well, hello and happy Mother's Day to all the wonderful, beautiful moms out there, um, especially my mom and um, my godmother and my daughter-in-law who has just become a mom um, just one month and two days ago and um, my sister-in-laws who are moms to my kids as well. My niece, who is just the most amazing and fantastic mom um, in the universe and to all of the other wonderful and amazing moms in my family and in yours. Happy, happy Mother's Day. So, um, yeah, this is going to be a little bit of a different video. See, we're in a different situation. I'm here um, just trying to put a little bit of volume in my hair as I get ready for um, dinner. My husband is taking me out and we're taking my mom out um, for dinner in just a little bit here for Mother's Day. So yeah, you want to hang out with me a little bit. And um, I want to talk a little bit about why I have become so driven in the past, um, I don't even want to say a couple of weeks, really about a year or so, but not really, and we'll kind of talk about it, but why I've been um, driven to monetize this channel. Um, so this video will not be a, um, a weekly review on my zet bound journey. Um, so if you know, that's what you're here for, you know, you can come back uh, for our next video. But for right now, um, we're gonna change things a little bit. However, it does still involve zet bound and, um, and my journey and you'll kind of see why. So if you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Cheryl. This is my channel, Sunshine Storyline. Um, sorry, there's a lot of noise going on. The dog is up here with me and he's playing with a toy and my neighbor is um, doing some work outside and has a bobcat running. So I apologize if there's a lot of noise in the background. So like I said, my name is Cheryl. This is my channel. If you are new here, I would love for you to, um, to subscribe. If you have been watching my videos recently and you're still not subscribed, I would invite you to please go and do that. Um, because as I mentioned, I am working really hard right now at monetizing this channel. The other day, Thursday or Friday, um, I checked my emails and I have the Google account obviously for the YouTube channel because anybody who doesn't know, you, you use a Google account um, to set up a YouTube account. So I had done, and I had had a Google account. I just, I don't use it very often. And I do use that for other stuff. So I, my regular email and my work email, I check way too often, like several times an hour, which is ridiculous. Um, but my Gmail, you know, I check a couple of times a day. I don't look, sometimes I won't look at it for a while. Not usually, but regardless. So I got an email um, from YouTube the other day and I was at work and I didn't really like read into it too, too much. And then I checked it out again, I think Friday night and it was inviting me to the YouTube partner program. So there's, I'm not understanding all of it to be perfectly honest with you but it looks like there's two parts to the YouTube partner program. The first part being if you have 500, 500 subscribers, um, you can then access the, um, oh, what's it called? Um, super stickers, I think it's called, and something else where basically viewers can give me money. I have, I, I have no interest in that. I would never ever, um, ask for money from anybody who was watching my videos. Um, but I guess in applying for the first portion of it, it kind of gets you ready for the second part. So anybody who doesn't know, um, when you have a YouTube channel, once you hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube and 4,000 watch hours within one year, 365 days, you can start earning money from ads on your videos. Up until that, you, you're you not earning any money. And um, I'm getting closer. 
And that is why recently I have been asking people to, you know, please make sure that they're subscribing. I think I'm about 150-ish people away. We're ar around 850 to 860 um, in subscribers and maybe around 35 or 3,600 um, watch, watch time, watch hours. So, um, you know, we're definitely getting there. And that was something that I kind of wanted to talk about today. Sorry, I'm having a hard time doing two things at once. And I am really, really bad at um, doing my hair. Thank goodness I have three boys. I don't have girls um, because I am awful at this. Awful, awful. I was an 80s kid. I was born, born in 72. And I had, my hair's kind of curly. And I had the big hair where, you know, we teased it all up with the Aquanet. And I didn't have to worry about it looking sleek and pretty. I just, the bigger, the better. And the frizzier and the poofier, <laughs> the better. So, um, yeah, we're going to stop doing that. Because I can't do two things at once. And he just needs some attention right now. I'm pup sitting um, for my my son and his girlfriend. They're at the rodeo. Um, no, we don't live in Texas. We don't live in any type of area like that. Um, but she has started barrel racing. She has a horse and she started barrel racing. So, um, yeah, so I just wanted to kind of talk about what has been, um, kind of the motivation here. So let's go back a little bit. So if 18 years ago, 16, how long have my husband and I been married? Um, we got married in 08. So we're going up. We're coming up on our 16th wedding anniversary. So it was my second marriage. Um, and when we got married, the one thing that we really wanted to do was go to Hawaii. I had two children at the time. So my son, my youngest was in kindergarten, I believe. And then my other was in fifth grade, first grade and fifth grade, something like that. Um, so my husband and I got married and we went to Hawaii. It was like my dream come true. I had wanted to do this forever. We kept our wedding smaller so that we could do this. And I was just so excited until it came time to say goodbye to my kids. And my entire wedding night, I cried and cried and cried until three o'clock in the morning when the car came to take us to Boston to the airport. It was really difficult for me. Up until then, I had not been away from my kids um, for more than, not even really, a, no, I had gone for a night, my husband-to-be and I had gone to Vegas for two or three days um, before that. So this was really hard. It was going to be nine or 10 days in Hawaii. So we got to Hawaii and it was incredible. <sighs> Hawaii is just phenomenal. Um, I fell in love, could have moved there that minute. And about day six or seven, um, I was in Waikiki in Ron John sh surf shop. I remember it like it was yesterday and I was kind of looking through some things for the boys and my oldest called me. And at the time, he had a broken leg. On Mother's Day of that year, he had broken his tib fib in a little bicycle accident. And he was still booted at that point. This was July. And he was still booted. So, you know, his summer was kind of shot. He wasn't able to go to camp or anything like that. And he was with my parents, um, which wasn't a big deal because we had lived with my parents up until the time I got married after my first divorce, my only divorce, but from my first husband. Um, and they called me and just wanted to know, when are you coming home? We miss you so much. And they were crying and it just broke my heart. And I remember saying to them, I'm so sorry, mommy will never leave you again. I will never go away again without you. I won't go to Hawaii. I'll never do it again. And that held true. Um, up until my oldest son was in college, his first year of college, and I was planning a Disney trip, kind of like our first big trip together. I now have a third son. It was going to be his first trip. I had taken the other two when they were younger and um, had decided that I really wanted to take the kids to Disney. 
and I actually went to my son was working also at the time and I went to his boss who I happened to know and I was like hey can he get off of work I really want him to come to Disney with them so long story short even then in college my my oldest came on vacations with us and it wasn't until they kind of started to tell me like we don't want to go and I was like well you know we're going anyway and they were okay with it So fast forward a little bit, and um, my oldest has been married for a little over a year now. You know, he just had um, a baby. My middle son is 23, and then I have my, um, my youngest will be 14 actually next weekend. Um, so a few years ago, my husband and I started saying like, you know, we really wanna go back to Hawaii. And I was like, I can't, <laughs> I can't, I can't do it. Um, so we started talking and realizing that it's really something that we want to do, but I just can't do it without my kids. So last year in somewhere in fall to early winter, I don't recall when, um, we all went out to dinner together. My older kid's wife, um, my other son's girlfriend, my husband, I, my child, my youngest, and um, I told them, I really want to go to Hawaii, but you guys know I made a promise to you and I won't do it without you. Do you have any interest in going? And they were like, yeah, if mom's going to pay for a trip, we'll go. Of course we'll go. Who wouldn't want to go to Hawaii? Um, so my wheels just started turning at that point. And I became very excited that they wanted to all do a family trip together and... Um, my head just started like I started planning things trying to figure out like how much this would cost I knew it would be a lot of money um and yes it will cost a lot of money so I started trying to figure out how much money you know I would have to save a year as you guys know if you've been here for a little bit um I'm in education I make next to nothing. I make very little money a year. Um, most of my money goes for groceries and um, vacation, my car, and everything else, you know, my husband's salary pays for. So I knew it was gonna, gonna be tight and I knew it was gonna take a while. Then my daughter-in-law got pregnant and I was like okay <laughs> so now I knew you know things were gonna have to be put off and I asked her um a little bit into the pregnancy you know are you guys still on board and if so you know how long would he have how old would he need to be in order for us to do this and she said you know like two would be probably the best in her mind so I'm thinking okay He's a month old. I have two years. Um, so that was a, about a year ago. Shortly after that is when I went to the doctor. And during that appointment last July, brought up the fact that I need to do something. Um, I need to, my daughter-in-law was pregnant at the time. I knew I had a grandchild coming. I needed to do something and I needed to start getting healthier. So before she would discuss anything like that with me, she did blood work. Now I find out that I have chronic kidney disease. Um, and so it all started from there. So um, in discussing Flor uh, Hawaii with my family, knowing that that was going to be a goal of mine, and then finding out that I was going to be a grandmother, getting healthy, really became top priority for me. And that's what I've been doing since we all met, right? Um, so recently, I have been thinking again, you know, about all of these things and how I don't want to lose track of this trip. This trip is my goal. So my goals right now are to lose enough weight to be healthy and to lose enough weight to physically 
happily go on a trip to Hawaii where I can do all the things with my grandson and my children, do the hikes, go on the walks, do all of these things that um, right now would not be plausible. Which brings me to you guys. I am giving myself a two-year goal right now to be able to fund this trip. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I am going to do everything in my power. And kind of like with this Zep Bound journey, putting it out there to hundreds of strangers has made me more accountable. Um, so I'm kind of thinking I'm going to do the same with this trip, um, which brings me to all of you. I ask you please, if you are not yet subscribed, to go ahead, hit that subscribe button below. Um, I need to reach certain things in order for YouTube to stop paying me. Subscribing to the channel doesn't um, cost you anything. It doesn't, you know, doesn't affect your, your wallet. And I would never, ever, please don't send me anything. That is not what I'm doing here. Um, but in, if we get the thousand subscribers, and videos start, you know, start getting getting more views, then I could potentially start earning a little bit of, of side cash. And that will continue to motivate me to continue on this health journey and this wonderful adventure that we've all been on together to continue to put videos out for everybody. Um, so I, you know, and I, I think anybody out there would say the same, putting it out there and vocalizing your goals and your aspirations helps to keep you accountable. And um, I've just been thinking about this a lot today, especially being Mother's Day and, um, you know, being with my grandson and my mother, my daughter-in-law yesterday, how much I really, really, truly want this to happen I was just recently, as you may or may not know, I'm also a part-time travel agent. Um, and I booked a trip for some women the other night. And they range from their 60s to 80s. And they're going on this unbelievable adventure, these women. And it literally brought me to tears booking this trip for them because I am such a big believer in taking the trips and making the memories because life is just so short and we just never know what tomorrow is going to bring. And um, unfortunately, I have had a lot of that in my life where, you know, the unexpected happens. Um, my son's accident a couple of weeks ago. So, you know, we just never know. We're not guaranteed anything. And this would probably be the biggest, most memorable thing that I could give my children at this point and myself. It would mean the absolute world to me to go to Hawaii where my husband and I just fell in love with the land and the people and absolutely everything about it. And I would love so much to bring my kids there and my God, to bring my grandson there and to just have the most amazing time and trip ever. Um, so that's my goal. That is, I am putting my focus on that for the next two years. And I am hoping that, um, you know, maybe, maybe this will be the way I get there. I have seen so many people just boom, like that go from zero to a hundred on, on YouTube. And never in a million years did I ever think that that would be me. And never was that something that I set out to do. But the more I'm here and the more interaction with all of you amazing humans, the more I think, why the heck not? Everybody else has done it. Well, not everybody else, but so many people. Like there's just thousands and probably hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions of, of um, content creators here on this platform that are just all um, all doing just these amazing, wonderful things. Um, and I would love to be able to do that and then to also find a way to give back as well. Um, my son and I, you know, I think I've mentioned before that he volunteers at the local food pantry here and we put together um, food drive last year and he's just the most amazing and loving and giving little human in the universe. 
and I would love to find a way to continue with him to 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 do good in the world um no matter how it is and no matter what you know small thing it may be I want to continue to show him that you know nothing that he does is too small and that every good deed you know is I don't want to say rewarded because I don't want him to think that but definitely what he puts out he gets back and he just puts so much wonderful good positive energy out into the world that I want him and of course my grandson um to do the same so yeah that's my little um I definitely think it still ties in to you know what we've been talking about here on my adventures in in weight loss and um I wouldn't be here talking to you guys if it wasn't for the fact that I was, you know, taking the Zet Bound and doing the things and just the healthier that I get and the more I'm able to get around and the more things I'm able to do, the more um, I realize that this goal that I've kind of put off for the last year or so is still one of the most, you know, forefront things in my mind right now and I'd like to put my attention back into it and I just love planning trips so much that I can't wait to start diving into this um and on the same same side the same note there if anyone is looking to plan a trip I would love to help you out um I have had so much fun this past three days um booking this trip for these amazing ladies that um it just makes it makes my heart happy to see other people that I know are going to go and have just the most amazing, amazing time. And this trip looks so phenomenal and it means so much that they actually trusted me to do that. So if anyone, you know, is interested in doing anything, um, Disney is my, um, I know the ins and outs and all the things, but I, there's definitely lots of other stuff. This was not a Disney trip that I just planned. This was way out of my wheelhouse. And um, I've learned so much and I would love to do the same with you as well. But again, guys, this was just my um, Mother's Day kind of feeling emotional, wanted to share with everybody. Um, I can't thank you all enough for all the support and love that you've given me over these past couple of months. It's been amazing. And it's because of all of you that I even felt I could come here and um, share this story with you and ask you all to continue to comment, like this video, um, share it if you think anybody else, you know, has any interest. And if you haven't yet, I would love it if you would subscribe and stick around. Everybody have a wonderful Sunday, a happy Mother's Day, and a wonderful week to come. We'll see you later.